Okay, so this is where we start doing the hand sewing. So at this stage, you can make a bunch of these little pillows and completely sew them up and then throw them in your suitcase when you travel. And then all you need to do is bring some thread and a needle and you have lots of fun stitching to do while you're in your hotel room. So the kind of thread that I prefer, you can use like uh, embroidery floss, but this is pearl cotton number five and this is what it looks like. It's shinier and I just like it better. It's a little bit thicker than the embroidery floss, but um, I brought these out to show you that this is real quickly how they get into a tangle when you're threading your needle. So I don't worry about it when, it's, when I'm ready to get some more yellow out of this. I pull it apart like so. And then I just pull. I pull until like now it's a knot again. And then cut it off. And then next time I pull it and you can get a lot out of it. So you're going to want to. Let's see here. Oh, the needle that I'm using is a cruel number two needle and it has a bigger eye but not too big and you're going to want to double your thread so I usually like my thread to be maybe a little bit more than an arm's length you don't want it too long you don't want it too short so you're going to take the two pieces to the two ends and you're just going to tie a knot at the end like so Okay, so you always are going to stitch with two threads, not one, unless you're doing the hand basting around the edges, and then you might just want to use one. So I think I've decided that I want the green to be my main fabric, and I want the purple to go around the edge. So what that means is I'm going to hold the front kind of away from me and I'm gonna start like I kind of usually start right at one corner but maybe a little bit in and I'm gonna poke it right through right below the stitch line and I'm starting on the front okay as you can see so clearly the knot is on the front but then I'm gonna fold this down and I'm gonna go around it again like so I'm going to cut these off. Okay. So, at this point, I'm kind of holding it. And I'm going to go maybe a quarter of an inch down. And it takes a little bit to get it started. And I've... It helps if you can hold it against your body. But I'm trying to hold this underneath the camera. So, again... I'm going to go down a little ways, a quarter of an inch or so, and I'm just going to keep stitching this, turning it, oh good grief, I'm trying to do this easily here. It really helps if you kind of hold it next to your body. So, you're going to just keep doing this around the edge, like so. You're not going to, you don't want to pull it too tight, but that's what it's going to look like. And you're going to see the raw edges, but I like the look of the raw edges. Some people don't, but I think that it adds an element to it that makes it less, uh, oh, nice and quilt quilty and a little bit more ragged and rugged and handmade so that's my opinion um when I run out of thread I'm going to knot it on the back and then just trim it off before I use that big long part but that's 
that's how I do it. So then when I start the next thread, which by the way, if you're cutting thread anyways, don't be matchy poo. So the next time I had to change the thread in my needle, I would pick another color, like, you know, just something else so it's not just yellow all the way around because um, it just makes it more interesting. So then the next thread that I do, again, I'm just going to, I'm going to poke it through from the front to back. Again, that little knot's going to kind of be hidden and then I'm just going to keep going. When you get to the corner, okay, so when you get to the corner like this, you're going to just kind of turn this over and then I'm going to, I'm putting the needle right in the edge of the fabric, the corner of it. There's really no right or wrong way to do a corner, but that's how I do it. So it's kind of is already going over like that. And then I just continue on this side. And it's okay if it's not a exact corner or if it's a weird corner, it's not really a big deal. So go all the way around and I'm gonna show you the next step.